to do some arithmetic, separate nine and square root of negative one, and then find square find the square root of nine, which is three. So we have plus or minus. Uh, this is a complex number, so we have uh, plus or minus three i. So for any complex number we have, we know that the plus or minus make them conjugates. They are conjugates. Okay, so negative two i multiplies seven. If I open this parenthesis here, I have negative two times seven, which is 14. And I have i. If I multiply negative two, multiply negative five, negative, negative is positive, and I have 10 i squared. All right, so now I have negative 14 i. And i squared is negative one. i squared is negative one, see? If I have square root of negative one here, if I square it, this will cancel this, I have negative one. Okay, so I have a negative 10 remaining here. So my answer, and I have to write my answer in standard form. The standard form of um, a complex number is A plus BI. A is the real part, B is the imaginary part. Therefore, writing this in standard form, I have negative 10 minus 14i. It is now in standard form. It's now in standard form. So that's number one. Okay, so that is number one. And let's go to number two. We're not going to do all of them. This is homework number one. So uh, let's go to number two, still on complex number. We already know that when we have square root of a negative number, it's complex. So in this particular case, we have uh, square root of four multiply square root of negative one. And the square root of four is two. Square root of negative one is i. So our answer is 2i. So that's how to multiply uh, complex numbers. And let's go to uh, number three. I have write the number without a negative radicand. Okay, so I will go, uh, radicand is the number in front inside the radical sign. Whenever you're uh, told to, um, write the number with, uh, without a negative radicand. So you want to factor out the negative sign in the radical. So I have negative outside square root of 19 multiplied by square root of negative one. So I have factored out the um, square root sign and I took away the neg negative number. And this is the same thing as I, so now I have, um, I can rewrite it in a different way, negative i square root of 19. I want to write it in front. So I have written it without negative sign. The same thing with number 20. Same thing with number 20. So, I mean, number, number four. So factor out this and find all other factors of, uh, so what I, ha I have four outside minus square root of 20 uh, multiplied square root of negative one. And I can also factor out what is inside this uh, radical sign, the radicand here. So I have square root of four times five multiplied by square root of negative one. So I already know that square root of negative one is, this is i here. 
and I can factor out for square root of four times square root of five. Square root of four is two. So I have four minus two root five. Okay, and this I here, I can write it with behind or in front. So my answer is four minus two I root five. I have written it in standard form where the uh, the real part is four and the imaginary part is uh, uh, two root five. Two root five is the imaginary, negative two root five. Negative two root five is the imaginary part. Okay, so we can now go down and do some other manipulations before we go to, uh, we go to unit two. Uh, we can be told to add or subtract. If I'm told to add uh, complex numbers, I will add like terms. So I add real parts to real parts, imaginary part to imaginary part. So if I do that, I have negative 9 plus 1. And then I have... Uh, 5i plus 4i. And when I finish, I have negative 9 plus 9i. Actually, I have negative 8 plus 9i because I added. Okay, so written in standard form, I have negative 8 plus 9i. Okay. Um, Now, if I multiply and I can still do FOIL, so let's multiply. Right here, I'm multiplying complex numbers. So, first, outside, inside, last. Okay, so let me do the multiplication. Negative 2 multiply 8 is negative 16. Negative 2 multiply i is negative 2i. And then I will add the other one. 4i multiply 8. 4 times 8 is 32. So I have plus 32i. 32i. And then 4i multiply 1i. I have 4i squared. We already know that for i squared is negative 1. So we can rewrite that right here. So I have negative 4 because i squared is negative 1. So collect like terms together. This and these are like terms. So now I have negative 16 plus 30i. And minus 4 and minus 16 will give me negative 20 plus 30i. Okay, so that is my final answer. That's going to be my final answer. So the same way you're going to multiply whenever you are told to multiply. If you are given the roots of i, I to power n, uh, you already know that i squared is negative 1. So I squared times I squared is I to the fourth. So negative one times negative one is positive one. Therefore, I to the fourth is equal to one. So if I to the fourth is equal to one, I want to break this into, uh, so I can just put here, um, I to power, uh, I can just take away 3 from here, so I have 84. So I to power 84 multiply I to power 2. This I to power 2. Then multiply I to power 1. <clears throat> I to power 2 is negative 1. This one right here is i. Um, these are multiples of 4. This is going to give me 1. So my answer is going to be negative i. 
negative i. So anytime I'm given multiples of i, I should be able to simplify it. Okay, and here I have uh, i to power negative 10. So first of all, I will have to do 1 over i to power 10. So it's in the denominator. Then I can uh, change it into, so I now have 1 over i to power 8, which are factors of 4. Okay, then I have i to power 2. Multiply by i to power 2. i to power 2 is negative 1. So I actually have 1 over 1. And then here, this is negative. So um, answer is negative 1. All right. So the same way is uh, the way you're going to do the other ones. Uh, we can go to more, uh, practice uh, test. This one, <clears throat> so let's go to practice test for unit two and find all the, uh, do some of the problems in I before we go to quadratic function. Before we go to quadratic function. So um, I am going to practice test one, practice test one. I mean, practice test two, you need one practice test. Okay, so this is unit two practice test. What I'm looking for now is all the questions in terms of I. So I'm going down to see all the questions in terms of I to solve them. All the questions in terms of y, I. Okay, so I see one. Number 13 says, for the given complex number, state the real part. So the real part is 7. The real part is 7. So A is the real part, 7. State the, um, real, state the imaginary part. The imaginary part is 10. It doesn't contain I. And identify the number as real, pure, imaginary, or non-real okay so the this is um, imaginary this is imaginary so now we go to look for another number that has imaginary numbers question that has imaginary numbers okay we have already done we have done number nine so factor the um so I have a to power, um, i to power 8 multiply i. i to power 8, 8 is a factor of 4. So my answer is going to be 1 here. So my answer is going to be actually i in this question. All right. So this time we go to uh, practice test 2. So we're going to practice test 2, homework for practice test 2. Okay, it's already open. Okay, so I'm looking for two, three point two. All right, so this question says, for the quadratic function defined, write the function in vertex form. Write this function in vertex form. By the way, which one is vertex form? This is the vertex form of quadratic function. Any time you see y is equal to coefficient into x minus h all squared plus k. So that is the vertex form of the of any quadratic equation where h k is the vertex. So we are given this function. And we are told to write it in vertex form. So let's start. Let's write that function in vertex form. In other words, rewrite this equation quadratic in this form. 
So what I'm going to do, first of all, is change the constant to the left. So plus 6 on both sides. So I have 6 plus p of x is equal to x squared minus 4x. OK. Now the next thing is find the middle uh, leading coefficient of the linear term divided by 2. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So I am going to add a plus that negative 2 here squared. And I'm going to add plus negative 2 here squared. Whatever you do to the left-hand side, do it to the right-hand side. Simplify. So this is 4 minus 6. I have minus 2 here plus p of x. Right now, I will take one each of the square sign, so x minus 2 squared. OK, so at this point, I will transform this uh, constant and back to the right. So I'm going to do it right here. Therefore, I have p of x is equal to x minus 2 all squared plus 2. OK, so now I have transformed it to the, I have transformed the equation to vertex form where h, this is h here, and k. h is 2, k is 2. Therefore, the point 2, 2 is the vertex. We can check that. So let's check that with calculator. So I'm going to put this in my calculator. Go to y equals. I'm just going to clear. Go to y equals. Clear. And then I will put the equation I'm told to transform. And that is x squared minus 4x minus 6. OK, and then I can just graph it and see the vertex. So, um, So I can just put the graph and see what the vertex is. OK, so what is the vertex? So let me ask my calculator. Second calc. And the vertex is the minimum number. So um, I'm going to check 3 on the left-hand side, yes. And I'm going to check the right-hand side. And that is left hand side. If I click, my answer is going to be 2, 2, negative 10. So 2, negative 10. 2, negative 10 is, the, is what my calculator gives me. My calculator.